All right, thanks everyone for joining us for our Armwood High School PTS, PTSA meeting for the month of January. Really excited to um, get started with our agenda for today. Um, we are joined by um, Mr. Matt Johnson, Mrs. Jenny Glower, and Ms. Stacy Bruton from Armwood High School. We're here to give us some mid-year review and updates of what to expect in the spring semester at Armwood. So glad to uh, have all of them here to share um, what's coming up in, in the upcoming session. So before we begin, we have a few announcements that we just wanted to cover from a PTSA angle. Um, and we'll get started with those now. So first, on concession volunteers, we still need volunteers. We got started with our concessions um, beginning in December of this year. Um, and we've been servicing so far our cheerleading team had um, an event as well as several of our basketball games. Um, our last basketball game is tonight. Um, the boys are playing against Durant. Um, that game starts at 7, so um, if you want to come on down and, and experience our concession stand, uh, you're more than welcome. Um, but we have wrestling that's uh, starting up in February. So we have a wrestling meet that will be on February 1st where we're looking for concession volunteers and then an all day event on February 17th, which is going to be the district wrestling tournament. So that's going to be an all day affair and we're definitely looking for volunteers to help us um, throughout the day. That's the um, same day as the, I believe it's the fair holiday or maybe strawberry, no, yeah, yeah. it's the fair because strawberry festivals in March. Um, so if you're interested, um, you can scan this link or go to our website and the link to volunteer can be found on our main page in the website. Um, we are also signed up to volunteer for the Gasparilla Run. So the folks with Gasparilla um, Run um, very nicely offer to provide us with a donation to our organization in exchange for 15 volunteers to help. Um, at the event. So we're looking for 15 volunteers to help us on the day of the run. Um, event will be from 1030 to 3 p.m. So um, that sign up is available now. Um, and this can be parents, students, anyone who's interested in attending. Um, we just need to make sure that we have those 15 volunteers. Um, more details as far as where you will be meeting at and things like free shirts. I think you get a free shirt for, for volunteering will be coming as we get more information as the event gets closer. Um, and then finally, we like to share our new updated sponsorship site um, that we have just posted. Uh, our organization is always looking for opportunities that we can continue to provide um, more valuable programs for our students, um, our faculty um, within the school um, and to our parents as well. So we invite you to share um, our updated sponsorship site with any area businesses or connections you may have and help us get support. All right, with that said, let's go ahead and get into our agenda. So first up, we have Ms. Glower. So go ahead and step on the stage. We have a stage up here at the front. And go ahead and join us. Woo! Hi, guys. All right, and just a quick thumbs up. Can we hear uh, Ms. Glower? Can you hear me? Jessica? Yes. Okay. <laughs> All right. From the avid, um, some big news today. Our avid seniors, fifty of our hundred plus avid seniors, attended the um, um, Infinite Scholars field trip, and it was very successful for um, our students receiving scholarships and just the experience overall. So we're really excited about that. Um, Back to our seniors, they're going to be finalizing all of their college information. And if you have seniors, make sure that you check out um, any news on Canvas, um, our Instagram and our Twitter. I am now officially the senior sponsor for the class of 2023. Yay. Um, so I'll be communicating with all of that. So senior information, not just because of my students, and the classes I teach, but also with me being the new senior sponsor, we really want to get uh, money rocking out for uh, Grad Bash, which the sales start on the 28th, um, and then Promise coming up before we know it. So seniors, busy, busy time. We'll also have um, senior signs and banners again for sale this year through PTSA, and that information will be coming out soon. So those are going to be going on sale at the end of the month as well. And I'll be help. I'll help um, Amanda communicate that as well. 
now that I'm a senior sponsor, I just want to keep saying that. Um, so let's move away from seniors for a minute. Um, in AVID, our um, ninth through 11th grade will be doing some Black History Month projects that they're finishing up in the junior world right now. Um, some really cool stuff that they're going to be sharing out to promote that month. Um, they're continuing tutorials, which is amazing. So we invite teachers and tutors, um, I mean, teachers to and families to come on and see our tutorials in action. Um, really exciting stuff happening in 11th grade as they start transitioning um, into that senior frame of mind because that's such a big, um, you know, part of getting ready for their senior year um, is the AVID transitions for 11th graders. Um, we have in school wide, we have junior workshops that are going to be starting up at the end of February into March that will help juniors and all juniors, all Hawk juniors, um, get ready for what's expected um, now. So they'll be taking their SAT, their first official SAT as a junior um, with the nationwide March 1st SAT date. I believe that's correct. Correct me if I'm wrong, Mr. Johnson. Um, March 1st, March 1st. March 1st, SAT. And then um, we will be getting them transitioned. So we'll be doing lunch and learn workshops um, in the media center and in room 231, like I said, at the end of February into March getting those juniors ready to know what the next steps are to prepare for their big senior year and we hope to fit in at least two or three freshmen and sophomore lunch and learns just so they can get their hands on gpa their grad summaries um, things that they don't really think about until their junior year and we want to get that started now so we're having some really cool lunch and learn workshops now that seniors are taken care of um, coming out in the spring and we're really excited so thank you so much awesome thank you Woo! thank you all right up next we have mrs Ms. bruton give us some updates around collegiate academy so we are really excited that um, offers are going out this week for the class of 2027 uh, we had over 500 students and families apply for our program um, which is the most out of all collegiate academies in the district boom. and yeah boom and we will be sending out 250 offers um, so we have 125 seats to fill um, and we're sure we're going to fill those on the first round so we're really excited about that um, so we will have limited seats available for the second round of the magnet um, application which will come uh, late March our freshmen are gearing up to take the PERT test um, so that's the test that they need to stay in our Collegiate Academy program. Uh, they are going to be testing on February 15th and 16th, and um, all of the study materials have been posted on their Collegiate Academy Class of 2026 Canvas page, um, and we'll have boot camps and more to come um, coming soon. And um, all of our seniors are being taken care of by Ms. Glore um, in her AVID and IDS Connections class. Um, but parents, make sure you're checking Canvas because I am sending out lots and lots and lots of scholarships to our seniors on Canvas every day. And that's not just for collegiate, that's for all, um, all Armwood Hawk seniors. Um, so things are rocking and rolling in the collegiate world. Um, and yeah, we're just really excited to see what happens this week with our offers. Awesome. Thank you. All right. And last, but certainly not least, I'd like to welcome Mr. Johnson to the stage. Give us some additional updates. I'm sure giving you Woo! some walk-up music. Walk-up music. Okay. Oh, Next time entrance music. School. I'm excited. Um, this is my first PTSA this year, so I'm excited to be invited, uh, be a part of it. But uh, just a few updates. Um, Ms. Lore and Ms. Bruton are amazing and they kind of covered quite a bit. But um, real quick, one thing I wanted to kind of advertise and um, uh, yell out there is that our grad rate is in and we were at 89.9, which is above. Uh, for the first time in a long time, we are above the district average grad rate, which wow. is huge. That's also a five point gain, almost a five point gain. Um, since 2019. So um, that just goes to show our student service team, our teachers, our um, success coaches, they're just doing a phenomenal job meeting with our students, intervening where necessary. So whenever we have those conversations with families, we really are looking at a student 
um, not just their time here at Armwood, but their time beyond. And so I'm excited to, to advertise that. A 90% grad rate is a huge accomplishment. Make sure you check us out um, as we have been in several news stories because of our growth over the past few years. Um, we are having our conference night coming up on February 16th. So um, make sure that you make note, February 16th, we will be putting out those, those parent phone calls um, to remind everybody. We're gonna call it a hawk night because we are gonna have um, some special talks with different grade levels um, and those that just want to hear more about what's going on here at Armwood High School. Um, the best way to ever get a hold of a teacher um, is Canvas. You can directly message them on there. You can get an app on your phone. You can do it on a computer. That is the best way to get a hold of the teachers, um, especially as we gear up for that conference night. Right now, we just finished up our progress monitoring two. So as many of you know, our state um, has shifted gears a little bit and we had three progress monitoring tests this school year. We did one at the beginning of the school year. Progress monitoring two, we did literacy. So if you have a ninth or 10th grader, they took that in December. And then this, these past few weeks, we've been hitting up if your students in biology, algebra, geometry, or US history. So your students sat for a progress monitoring two, a PM2, which um, just kind of helps our teachers and our team Get some data on your students so we can better help uh, move them along and help hit them right now with where they're needing that extra boost and that extra help. So uh, your students have been going through that, which is an amazing thing. Then our progress monitoring three is going to be our new FAST, which is the old FSA. That's going to take place in the spring um, like it always has, especially in April and then in May as we gear up for the finishing up our progress monitoring threes FAST as well as our AP exams in May. So those are important things just to keep in mind for this semester coming up. Um, your students that are in an elective course, many of them might have a spring elective pretest coming up uh, the week of February 6th. This test is to help us also see what they know before they get into the class. So that's exciting. Um, and then March 1st, as you heard uh, from Ms. Gloria, Ms. Bruton, March 1st is our school day SAT. So all juniors, have that opportunity to sit for that test free of charge from our district. So thank them. Um, and that is just a great day to be here. Make sure they are present on March 1st, ready to go. Um, other than that, we do have club days quite often. Our next one is February 8th. Your students have dozens of clubs to choose from. Um, those clubs are also posted throughout on Canvas and um, a great place to check up on that. And then one last thing I wanted to kind of roll into is, is programming, selecting courses for this coming school year. Uh, your students already did some planning um, with their counselors and they already selected some of our courses, but we are gonna be advertising, especially this week, some exciting news. So, oh, there we go. all right, uh, coming up, we are looking and have applied for and should have word back soon. We are most likely gonna become a Cambridge ACE school. Meaning, not only do we have an amazing collegiate academy, not only do we have a great career tech education field led by the great Mr. Newfield, uh, but now students are going to have an opportunity to be involved in a Cambridge Academy through ACE, which is A-I-C-E. I encourage families to Google that. Um, we are going to be pushing that this week in some of our um, classes and giving them the students that opportunity to kind of learn more about what ACE means, offering them some electives. But we'll be holding some more family nights in the coming months. Um, especially one of our Hawk Nights, uh, be looking for that in our parent link connection that goes out from Miss Langston every Sunday. So, anything I'm awesome. missing, you guys? Anything uh, we, we want to? No. Any questions? Any questions, concerns? How are, we, how are we looking on questions? If you have a question, you can feel free yeah. to use the chat or you can unmute yourself. I think we're good with questions. Awesome. So right. thank you so much. Right. Well, we'll, real quick before we close out our meeting, I just want to cover a few reminders. So um, first up, um, we do have our dates for concession sales coming up. So February 1st will be our next opportunity for um, volunteering for concessions for our wrestling event on February 1st. Um, our next uh, uh, PTSA board meeting will happen on February 7th at 6.30 PM. That will be here at Armwood. Um, and then, as Mr. Johnson mentioned, we have Hawk Night, and we will also be having our PTSA meeting. 
um, that night as well as Armwood. So come out for Hawk Night and stay for PTSA. Um, we look forward to um, providing a, an awesome opportunity. That will be our next official uh, meeting. So we will be discussing things like nominations for our board positions that we'll be electing at the end of this school year. Um, so it's definitely one that you don't want to miss. Um, and then finally, we had the wrestling tournament um, concession sales opportunity coming up on the 17th, followed by the Gasparilla Run event on the 25th. So we look forward to getting um, volunteer participation um, and hope to see you at one of our events soon. Um, as a reminder, we have several ways that you can connect with us and keep up on events that are occurring in the school and, and what PTSA is doing. Um, you could always keep track of what's going on. All of the links to everything that we share today is on our website. Um, we also have presence on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, whatever your um, chosen social media outlet is. You can follow us there. And then finally, all of our meetings, including tonight's, will be posted on our YouTube channel. So be sure to follow that channel and catch a recording of, of one of our meetings. We look forward to, to offering some more opportunities on there outside of our meetings in the coming months as well. So again, thank you everyone for joining us tonight. And thank you for our speakers for sharing more about what's going on at Armwood. We hope that everyone got an opportunity um, to learn some great information. If you have any feedback for us or anything that we can do to help improve your experience, feel free to email us at armwoodhsptsa at gmail.com. Otherwise, thank you so much for attending and looking forward to seeing you soon. Bye everyone.